Jeremy Fletcher uses his phone to take pictures of the countryside, even in his lunch hour. But it was while he was taking an evening stroll on the seashore at Snettersham in Norfolk that he noticed a godlike figure staring back at him from the clouds. Divine proof, maybe? After the first two or three, I, I looked at what I had on my phone and I couldn't believe the image that was on there. It was so clearly a face in the sky looking straight back at me. delight in doing it good and multiply it. So the Lord will take delight in bringing ruin upon you and destroying you. And you shall be plucked off the land that you are entering to take possession of. Because they have forsaken my law that I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice or walked in accord with it, but have stubbornly followed their own hearts, and have gone after the fables as their fathers taught them, and went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they had not known, and whom he had not allotted to them. Therefore the anger of the world is kindled against this land, bringing upon it all the curses written in this book. Therefore the Lord declares, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel. I speak unto thee this day, and I say you are not meant to have your dependency upon men, but I say you are meant to have your dependency upon me. That is, it is me, the living God, you are meant to look to each and every day, that you can indeed be guided in my way. And I say, when men will fail thee, or at least they will fail your expectation of them, consider this, that you are not meant to be looking to men, but you are meant to keep looking to me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is life, the way that is truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say, when you keep your focus, your vision ever upon me, then I say you can come forth rejoicing in me. Now I say if you are in sorrow this day, disappointment and disillusionment because you have looked to men, I say repent. For I say that I, the living God, never called you to have your confidence in flesh, that is, in fleshly carnal men, but I've called you to have your confidence in me. Now I say it is me, the living God, who does indeed bring to light the very fact that you are meant to remain ever trusting, hoping, and believing in me. And it is me, the living God, who does bring to light the very factor of the power of my presence that you can continue steadfast in me. That is, that you can continue to believe and likewise receive each day of me. For I say, when it is me, the living God, that you keep your vision, your focus upon, then I say you are not led astray. But I say, when you're looking to the ways of the heathen, looking to the arm of flesh, I say that the same will deteriorate your trust and confidence in me. Now I say there were many they started out to follow me, to keep their confidence in me. Then I say they looked to men. And I say in the process they became men pleasers. And I say they lost out with me. Then I say in the end they knew disillusionment, despair and disappointment because they were looking to men rather than me. And I say their dependency upon the arm of flesh became a curse unto them. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do offer the way of truth and the way of light, walk in the same. And I say, keep steady in your vision unto me, ever trusting in me, because it is me you are meant to please. That is, you are not meant to be pleasing a multitude of other lovers, other gods, and thinking there is something to be found in the same. But I say, you are meant to keep ever steady, looking unto me as the author and the finisher of thy faith. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give to my own the way of retribution, the way of truth and light, and the way of mercy provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct, correct, and guide forth the people who will indeed be cleaving unto me. For I say when the ones who are mine will keep their vision single, will keep their hope stayed upon me, will keep their dependency ever with me, I say they are guided in truth. But I say when they get their vision on any other source, I say they need to repent. Now I say this day if you are suffering under disappointment, disillusionment, and despair, I say you have trusted in men. And I say you are needy of repentance and restoring yourself to me, the author and the finisher of thy faith. 
For I say it is true, when a man will look to others, when a man will look to the arm of flesh, when a man will look to mere carnal men as his support, his strength, and his safety, he is looking unto lies. And I say that I, the living God, do not call you to be embroiled in lies and liars, but I call you to keep your confidence in me. That is, ever faithful and true unto me as the one you are meant to believe and likewise be receiving of. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer to my own the way of truth and life, the way of mercy and hope, and they will accept the same, then they are ever guided forth by me. And yes, they are given the blessedness, the truth, and the light time and again, for it is me, the living God, who is well able to give to them the same. And yes, they are directed, corrected, and guided forth in that which I intend and provide day by day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all truth and light, mercy and hope, and peace intended for all who cleave unto me. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I, the living God, do give to thee, I say it is the way of life, the way of truth, and the way that is my mercy provided. And I say if you are ever thankful each and every day for me rather than looking to mere men, I say you are found established in me. But I say if you have put your hope, your expectancy, your reliance upon carnal men, of course you are ever frustrated. And I say it is because you are looking to that which I, the living God, never ever intended for thee. Now I say this day as I, the living God, am calling all men to repent, I am likewise calling those who have put their dependency upon mere men to return to me. That is, to be restored to repentance, revolution, and the return to faith and trust and confidence in me. For I say, when the ones who are my people will get their vision, return to me, and walk uprightly in my way, ever going forward in repentance, revolution, then I say that they will be rejoicing in me. That is, instead of being filled with the sorrow, the despair, the futility and emptiness that comes of looking to mere men, I say they will be filled with hope because they are stayed upon me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to be full of sadness when they could indeed be filled with gladness because they are serving me. That is, because they are keeping their vision upon me and looking unto me day by day. Now I say this day that a man may speak great swelling words, he may brag, he may say what all it is that he will do. But I say when the test, the trying of faith will come and he fails completely, I say that he desperately needs to repent. For I say that a man in his imagination can conjure up all of the great things that he will do. But I say when he's faced with the trying of his faith, will he continue steadfast in me? Now I say it is me, the loving God, who does indeed find pleasure in the steadfast, the ones who continue in my way. That is, the ones who will accept the correction, the direction, and the light upon the path that I provide. Now I say this day there is safety to be found in repentance, revolution, for it is the humility way of life. And I say when any man or woman will be quick to repent, to turn from the darkness, the evil, of their own way to accept my way, then I say they are found well-pleasing. But I say when a man will start out in righteousness and end in wickedness, why is it so? I say it is because he turned from me as the rock of refuge, as the strength, the high tower of safety, and put his dependency upon mere men. Then I say that he took on the attributes of the very things he was dependent, reliant, Upon, and I say, what did it bring? I say that it brought the deterioration of his faith, his trust, and his confidence in me. Now I say this day, if you put your confidence in men in former times, I say, do not repeat the same error in the way. That is, do not err out of the way of righteousness and turn to unrighteousness because of trust in mere men. But I say, let your confidence be in me, the one true God who is able. And I say, be ever confident in what it is that I do for my own. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness and truth, and mercy and hope and the peace provided for all who cleave unto me. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do intend that my own people would find their way of life, would find their way of truth by dependency upon me. That is, by ever looking unto me, believing in me, and trusting in me, for I am well able. For I say that the ones who will look unto me, believe me, and walk uprightly in me, I say they are ever guided forth by me. And yes, they are given the truth, the light, and the strength each and every day. 
Now I say this day, count it a privilege to keep on believing, to keep on receiving, and ever obeying me. That is, that you can be guided in the truth, to light the mercy time and again, for I am indeed well able. That is, I'm able to give to my own all that they ever have need of, if they keep their vision single unto me. But I say, when the people will deviate and pervert and take up other gods, other lovers, they are taking up lies. And of course, they will find themselves weak and enfeebled because they turned away from me. Now I say, this day you are living in a time when idolatry is raging, as though it is the most wonderful thing to do. That is, men are casting me off to take up idols and loving it so. But I say, they are the fools who will find in the end that their idols have failed them, and they are left with nothing at all. That is, except the destitution and the imp impending damnation of their souls. I say, this day do not look to the arm of flesh, even in the position of idols, and think you gain from the same. But I say, be ever looking unto me as the one true God who is able, the one you can trust in day by day. For I say, when it is me that you will be looking unto, believing and hoping in, then you are ever guided forth by me. And yes, you were given the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I offer each and every day. Now I say there are untold multitudes who are highly critical, analytical, and think they know oh so much. But I say the truth of it is, if they will not humble themselves and repent unto me, they know nothing at all. For I say in the end they will be destitute of soul, that is, with nothing at all to stand before me. And I say they will be damned for all of their so-called intelligence and superiority of mind. I say this day that I the living God do not call thee to be trusting in mere men, but I say that I call thee to return to confidence in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is life and truth, hope and strength and safety provided day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct, direct and bring forth the people who keep their vision, their focus upon me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the truth, the light, the mercy and the strength intended day by day. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad for the privilege to believe, the privilege to receive and come forth in me. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to end in a ditch, that you do not need to follow blind guides, that you do not need to wander in desolated despair. But I say that you can indeed continue with keeping your confidence ever upon me, the author and the finisher of thy faith. And I say, when you fail, you can truly repent and change from the way that caused you to walk amiss from me. And I say that you can be thankful each day that it is me, the living God, who is able to guide forth the truly repentant people in the humility way of life that I provide. And I say you can be renewed each day in the strength that I offer, the way that I give, and be ever thankful unto me. And I say you can be coming forth knowing that I am the victorious one, the way of triumph provided for all who cleave to me. For I say if it is me that you keep on trusting, believing, and hoping in, it is me who guides thee forth. And it is me who will give to my own the clarity that they have need of to keep their vision single unto me. Now I say this day, if you feel the chastisement upon you because you have looked to mere men, I say repent this day. And I say be thankful that you do not need to be deceived nor beguiled, but you can indeed through repentance be returned to me. That is to the fellowship, the oneness that I intend and provide for my own. That you can indeed be strengthened each day because it is me that you serve. I say, be thankful to receive the truth, the light, and the mercy. Be thankful to be guided each day. Be thankful to be ever directed by me. For it is me, the living God, who is the one who will guide thee forth in the way of eternal life. And it is me, the living God, who will give to thee such as you have need of time and again. For I am indeed well able. For I say, you are not meant to be looking to that which men can do, but rather what I can do. And I say you are not meant to be deceived by men in their promises, for I say they are full of falsehood and pretension day by day. I say be thankful for truth and light, for mercy and hope, and the peace that I provide. And I say be glad that it is me, the living God, who will guide thee forth in the way of repentance, revolution, the humility way that I intend for my people to be in that they are not swayed, beguiled, or seduced out of my way, but they keep their vision single unto me, the one true God they are meant to serve.
whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. You're commanded by God. You're commanded by God. You're commanded by God.